last topic I want to talk to you about, I was very interested in your announcement and uh, you plug and you were the first person that I saw plugged it. And that now I've seen it in other parts of social media, but I want you to tell the chat crew something about the Zenobia Awards announcement and what your role is going to be. What are the Zenobia Awards? Because, you know, in certain corners, it's not getting a lot of pub and I think we need to get some more publicity about it. Uh, sure. So the Zenobia Award is an award that's going to be put on um, by some pretty big names in the war game sphere of the hobby. Um, so you might recognize Volko Runke is one of okay. them, um, Harold Buchanan, people who have designed a lot of games for GMT games. Sure. And what they're Volko looking did for... the first coin game, if I remember right, right? Yes. Isn't that and what he's, he's doing part? Yeah. Yeah. And he's had an active hand in the development of quite a few of them, I believe. Um and what they're doing is they've pointed out that, you know, the hobby tends to be, at least here in the United States and in the UK, uh, there's a certain demographic that it tends to attract and foster. And so what they're looking for is True. they're looking for a little bit of a different perspective. Um, so they're looking for underrepresented groups. And one of the things that's cool about it is um, I actually think award is a little bit of a misnomer. Um, what excites me about it is really that there's a mentorship. So right. if you come from a background where maybe you, uh, have wanted to design a historical board game and you feel, you know, maybe no one will listen to you. Maybe, maybe that's something that you don't have the confidence to do. Um, what you can do is you can pitch it to the Zenobia award and they are going to pick a certain number of people who basically you get six months of, uh, mentorship with somebody inside the industry. So I'm volunteering with them. And that's what I am going to be doing is, is pairing up with somebody for a mentorship. And, um, and hopefully it will get some people into the industry and into the hobby who otherwise wouldn't feel comfortable breaking in. Um, so I think it's a great initiative. And I hope we get some games out of it. Apparently, they've already had a few submissions. So that's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, that's the gist. Yeah, I was going to see if I can get it up there. Yep, I think I've got it. Let me see if I can pull that up for you. Uh, so chat crew, we're talking about the Zenobia Award right here. Is that right? Yep. Historical board games enjoyed by people from all walks of life. So basically what I liked about this is, it you know, there's a lot of yelling on Facebook, on Twitter and all the sides. And, and a lot of it is passion for good reason. But mm -hmm. This was more about opening doors fostering and mentoring people you know that that whole mentoring angle and i love that idea because some people shy away from conflict and some people shy away from uh from you know from public the public sphere yet they have an interest in in a in an area of games that we would all agree is underrepresented by people of color by women by you know other other walks of life so i love this idea and uh, and, and i'm happy to promote it on the show the zenobia award uh, there, is there a deadline for this coming up? Um, so I think that the application process goes through, is oh. it January? So yeah, I'm, I I'm, not on, yeah, I'm not on that part of uh, the thing. I'm not on the board, so I won't be doing any judging. It, it's been kind of interesting, just the response. For the, for the most part, people have been pretty enthusiastic about it. I have had a number of emails where people are uh, saying it's, it's racist in the same way that affirmative action, which is kind of fun that someone thinks we're going to resolve that discussion, uh, through a few <laughs> on emails. Twitter. Yeah. Right. On Twitter. Or emails. Right. Um, so, but I, I think it's pretty positive. You know, some of the people who I've reviewed their games, um, one example would be, um, the des Aaron Lee Escobedo, for instance, the designer of Meltwater has talked about, uh, that she, as a trans woman, had a lot of trouble getting publishers to listen to her pitches. And her game was eventually published and was actually critically celebrated. Um, but it's it got published because it was published by another trans woman. So so this is this is initiative in part is just to try to get some new voices into that part of the hobby. Um, I couldn't be more excited. I think it's going to be great. Zenobiaaward.org. Check, check that out and give it some support or give it some publicity. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it, but I have seen you, Dan, and, uh, and, and kudos to you for, for getting the word out. Opening doors. Uh, that, that's what, in Punchboard Media, that's what we talk about, bringing more people to the table. So this looks sure. like an award or a mentorship program, as, as you say, about bringing people to the table. So I love that.
Bye. 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 Bye.